Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Abby, I'm the owner of a couple tumblers, and today's video, we're gonna be doing a viral or a trending tumbler, and it's gonna be this cute lemonade cup that has a ice lid on it. And this ice lid is actually removable. It has magnets to secure it onto the tumbler. It doesn't really go anywhere once it's like locked into place. But this is super fun and I've wanted to try this for so long. So that is why the video is late this week. But before we get started, you guys already know what to do. Give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and let's get to it. Okay, for today's tutorial, we are going to be using a 20 ounce skinny straight from Maker Flow Crafts. I'll leave a link in the description down below, and I just spray painted this yellow and white. We're also going to be using Lemon Drop from Sass and Crafts, Lello Cupcake from Sass and Crafts, and my all time favorite white called Diamonds from Glitter Heart Company. I am also running low on diamonds, which means I need to do a restock on it. So, to apply my glitter today, I am going to be using Elmer's Craft Bond. If you didn't watch my ombre tutorial, which I think that was like my first video ever on YouTube, but if you haven't watched that, go watch it. This is how I ombre my cups. All I do is spray the bottom half of my cup, so where the yellow is, and I will apply my glitter. Once my glitter is applied all around my cup, I'm going to tilt my cup down or up, whichever way you want to think of it, but I'm just going to lightly tap on the jar and I'm going to have that lello, that lello, oh my goodness, that yellow trickle down the cup a little bit and that's going to make the blending so much easier. For the second color, I put the spray adhesive on the top third of the tumbler, but I didn't go towards the tippity top of the tumbler, so I just went a little bit below it to where I am applying my lighter yellow, and I did overlap it into the lemon drop. So now I'm just going to tilt my tumbler down and just blend this bad boy in. And now it is time for the white. I just spray the top and going into that lighter yellow. This light yellow is really, really hard to tell that there even is yellow. I stuttered so bad on that one. I am so sorry. But it's hard to tell that this is a yellow. So I am just going to go in with all of the colors once again and do a second coat. I do end up putting the lemon drop a little bit higher to make it transition a little bit more or light or darken that lighter yellow. So that is what I did and it came out pretty cute and I am keeping it that way. Now that my cup has two layers of epoxy on it, I'm going to start working on the lid. This lid is just from Maker Flow and you can take off the little slider piece really easily. So if you turn it over and pinch just a little bit on the little notches, that's going to take the slider part off and I'm going to be using E6000 to apply these magnets. These magnets I got are from Amazon and I'll try to link it down below in the description but I wish I got bigger magnets. These magnets are super strong but they're just a pain in the butt to work with because they are really tiny but it makes everything work so it is what it is. I have 80 of these little things so that's what we're just gonna have to deal with. To apply the magnets to the lid, I am just going to take some E6000 and dab it onto the top with the popsicle stick. And then I'm just going to place my magnets where I want them to go. And this is going to secure these magnets onto the lid super well.
Once my magnets are all on there, I am going to take the lemon slice. And I got this from Joann's, I believe. Joann's. But you can also find them at Michael's or Amazon. I'm just going to take some E6000 and put it onto the bottom of the lemon slice and apply it to the car coaster. I got this car coaster mode from, I believe, Ren Wills. Do not quote me on that, but you can also find it on Amazon. And I just put some yellow or yellow glitter into my epoxy before I poured it in. And then I'm going to take this E6000 and also put it onto the sides of the lemon. As you can see, it did fall. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to hold this sucker on there for a little bit because E6000 does take a little bit longer to dry. The reason why I chose to use E6000 over a, a hot glue gun, why can I not say a hot glue gun today? But the reason why I chose to use E6000 over a hot glue gun is because it will be more secure to the coaster itself. So after I put this lemon slice on there and I think that it's secure, I will start putting the ice crystals that I've also got from Hobby Lobby. But I'll put the ice crystals on, these, on both sides of the lemon to make sure that it will stand up on its own. And then once I put those two ice cubes on both sides of the lemon, I am just going to fill up this coaster with other ice cubes or more ice cubes. And then after I get a first little layer of it, I'm going to start stacking some to give it a little bit more height and dimension because, you know, ice doesn't really go into one layer. It makes like a little mountain. So that's what we're going to go for today. And once I am done applying all of my ice, all of it, or not all of it, but enough to cover it and make it look cute. I am going to, to put some E6000 onto the magnets and then attach it to the back of this coaster. I also forgot to mention, once I have all of my ice cubes where I want them to be, I am just going to fill in the cracks with E6000. So I'm just going to pour it straight from the tube or squeeze it straight from the tube and into any of the cracks. So that way I know that all of the ice is secure. Okay, you are probably wondering, by the title of this video, you're probably wondering, Abby, where is the water slide hack? Well, here it is, you guys, here it is. I do not like to use white water slides and I do not like to use Pranova vinyl. It is just not my friend. If it works for you, that is great, but I have not found it to work for me. Anyways, all you have to do is upload your image into Cricut or Silhouette Design Studio, but I use Cricut, so I'm going to tell you the way that I do it for Cricut. So I upload my image into Cricut Design Space, and then I will size it, and after that I will go ahead and print it out. Once it is printed out, I will go back to the canvas, I believe that is what it's called, but I will go back to the canvas and on the top it says print and cut. You're going to change that print and cut to just a cut file and what that is going to do, it's going to take away your image, but it's going to leave the shape of your image and you're just going to print it out or cut it out, actually cut it, you're not going to print because it is just a cut, but you're going to cut it out on white vinyl. And once you place it on your cup, you're going to apply your water slide like how you would normally apply your water slide. So if you try this out and you absolutely love it, give me a comment down below and let me know what you think. After my water slide has dried, I am going to put one to two more layers of epoxy to seal this bad boy in. And if you have any leftover epoxy, go ahead and drizzle that over your ice to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And that is basically it for this week's video, and I hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you haven't hit that notification bell, make sure to do that so you don't miss out on a video. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!